Creating Still Life Compositions. Part 3, Applying Tonal Shading. Hello fellow artists, this is John Hendrick here with part three of a three-part video series um, with how to draw a complex still life, starting with uh, part one being just blocking out the basic forms using massing and the um, and the spheres and cones and cylinders and cubes. Uh, part two is sort of uh, adding some detail and blocking out where the shadows and highlights will go. Um, in this video, we'll be taking, uh, continuing from part two um, and start actually applying tonal shading to this whole entire drawing. All right, so this is what it'll look like. So let's get started from last time. So in this video, I'm going to uh, start blocking in more of the tones for the still life. Um, I'm using a couple of different pencils from my art kit, but uh, if all you have is a number two pencil, you just play around with the, the darkness uh, of that pencil and, and how hard you press versus how light you press. Um, I'll be using 2B, an HB, a 3H for lighter things, and a 6B. All right, so as I block out the tones, a couple of things I'm gonna remember is that you can always darken it. Sometimes it's harder to lighten it. So you wanna work lighter to dark. Um, after that, uh, you will be building up the tones by going over it again, or going over with a darker pencil for uh, a darker areas. So without further ado, I'm gonna kinda work a little bit with the, using the time-lapse feature, just so I can uh, show you the progression from blocking out the tones to the finished, uh, to not the finished product, uh, we'll reassess it after I block in a lot of the tones. Okay, so without further ado, here we go. <laughs> I should point out this as well. Um, for blending, you can use something like a blending stump or a, a, a tissue or a paper towel um, or even your fingers. I'll be using the stump. Notice this, that I'm applying my marks very lightly at first. It's really a building process. So uh, I'm gonna be going over it multiple times and uh, due to some time constraints, I'm going to time lapse this video. But please look at how I'm shading and then blending and then shading again and then blending again. It's really a, a back and forth sort of process. So enjoy this part of the video. Another tip for drawing a still life with shading is that if you don't want anything to get on sections of the drawing you haven't worked on yet, um, it's a good idea to get a, a scrap piece of paper or something that you can lay down on top of the drawing so as you're shading, blending, and moving your arm across the page, you're not smearing anything that you've done already or that you haven't even touched yet.
Okay, so this is the basic uh, tones I'm going to be using for the planter, but I'm gonna be going back into it again after I finish the other two objects to darken and lighten some areas and adjust it as needed. All right, so let's go on to the next object. So due to time constraint, I'm going to time lapse this part of the video, but a couple things just to keep in mind. Um, I switch pencils a lot. I block in shades uh, and tones slowly. Um, I take time to blend them, go back over them again, blend them again, and so on and so forth. It's really a building process. It's not just like a once and done sort of thing. All right, so enjoy uh, this section of the video as I speedily shade in my objects. Now I'm working on my last object, the little uh, ceramic cup. Uh, notice again, I'm doing the same thing from before. I'm applying tones, I'm blending it, I'm going back over it again, I'm blending it again, switching pencils. It's really a back and forth process that you need to do in order to build up your tonal shading.
All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's uh, the third part of this video series. Um, I've been applying tonal shading for a while. I've been building up slowly. However, I think there's still one other video I'm going to show you because although it looks like I've gotten a lot of things done, there's still more I can do. I still want to darken some tones, clean up some edges, add some highlights. So we're going to go from this to this in the final video. All right, so stay tuned for that. That should be up shortly. the shadows and highlights will be um, in this video. Oops, it moves a little bit. Alright, let me just uh, start the door again. <clears throat> Hello fellow artists, this is uh, John Hendrick here uh, with part three.